communities near downtown Greenville, they've seen drastic changes due to an influx of new residents. Some are fighting to preserve their neighborhood's history. A new documentary hopes to keep one community's stories alive for many years to come. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris reports. <laughs> For Dot Russell, Sterling has always been home. In my neighborhood, we had doctors and lawyers and auto mechanics. We had grocery stores. It was a entrepreneur's dream. But things have changed, challenged by blight and gentrification. Many of the neighbors she grew up with have been priced out of their home. And we appreciate the new, but we also hold on very tightly to the old. That's now her mission as Neighborhood Association President. And the one way to hold on is through stories of the past. You know, the people who are still here, we have to share that information so they will know the grounds that they walk on. We wanted a way to amplify and elevate their voices and also make sure that their goals for the future are being heard. Fourth Presbyterian Church has worked alongside Sterling for 30 years. Reverend Putnam says just before the pandemic, they began working on Sterling Stories, a documentary. Through more than 40 interviews collected over three years, new and old residents tell their stories of the neighborhood. Many of them wanted to share the best parts of their neighborhood. And then some of them wanted to talk about the challenges that they faced in the Sterling community. From the devastating high school fire to laughs and memories at what used to be the gathering spot. The documentary is not only keeping the stories of Sterling's community alive, but asking you to support them through several calls for action, including donating to the Neighborhood Land Trust. The purpose of the Land Trust is to build homes that people can live in and afford to live there. I hope that when people walk away that they think, wow, Sterling is an incredible gift to the city of Greenville and it is a gift that needs to be preserved. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News. And you can join the Sterling community for a documentary screening and forum tomorrow night starting at 630 at 4th Presbyterian Church.